Hey y'all, I'm here to show you how to make our not so red velvet cupcakes. So just to start, I've preheated the oven to 350 and I've done a couple things ahead of time to make this video a little bit shorter. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your salt, which is a half a teaspoon, and then you're going to take your baking powder, um, which is two and a half teaspoons of that. And then I have a fourth of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. And you just wanna mix that all together. The cocoa powder strong. And then you're just gonna set it aside. We'll get back to it. All right, and so I went ahead and I took the sugar and the butter that was softened to room temperature and I beat that because I beat it for about five minutes. All this, of course, will be on the recipe um, website. Then you're going to take your eggs, you've got two eggs, and you're gonna beat those in um, one at a time. And I have one cup, of, uh, one cup of sugar and a half a cup of butter, softened, like I said. So then you're gonna take your eggs, And you're going to beat that in. And then your second egg. The next thing you'll do is go ahead and add in whoops, your milk, a fourth of a cup of milk. bit easier without the hand mixture on that cocoa powder because it's flying everywhere. And again, this is a not so red velvet cupcake. So it's not going to be red. We're not adding food dye in there. And then I have uh, my whole wheat flour. And with that, we're going to do uh, one and one fourth of a cup. And you're going to gradually add that in too, or beat it in there because you don't want to add all in at once, it'll just get kind of clumpy. Smells awesome. And obviously it's looking like chocolate. Oh, 
wheat flour. Scrape the sides, and I've already lined um, the cupcake or the muffin pan with my cupcake liners. All right, just get some of that excess powder off the sides. All right, we are ready to fill our cupcake. Liners. And again, I preheated the oven to 350. You're going to take your liners or your muffin pants and you're just going to put about two thirds of the way full. Probably be easier if you uh, had a pouring type of bowl. Put that on right so you're just going to keep filling these muffin pans and I sprayed mine so they didn't stick on the inside once you put the liners in you can spray it with olive oil keep it from sticking I tend to overcook some things all right I'm almost done and I've got the icing that I made in another video that will be attached to this recipe. It's a vanilla cream cheese icing. Very much like what you would put on your normal mozzarella cupcake. So I'm going to kind of move it away a little bit more. I'm just going to use my fingers. They're clean. Don't tell anybody. By the way, I was never a baker or really a chef or cook, one, someone that loved to cook until I started clean eating. And I love the idea that, you know, the ingredients, the things that I'm cooking, I know exactly what I'm putting in there. Um, it's really empowering, which may sound kind of cheesy, but not to me. So anyway, I've got them filled. And I'm going to put them in the oven, again, at 350 for, um, I would say, 13, 16 minutes, 18 minutes. Keep an eye on it. Um, you know, I would start looking and checking about 13, 14 minutes in and then uh, pull out and check with the toothpick, just like you do any other cupcake or cake recipe. So uh, anyway, I'm going to pop these in. And then when I get them out, I will uh, ice them up with the amazing vanilla cream cheese icing we made. So hope y'all enjoy. Super easy, not so red velvet cupcake.